Killers Real, I'm back doing another video. I want to thank you guys for just continuing to watch my channel. If you haven't, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you like this video. Make sure you click the bell when you do subscribe to this channel so you know when I post each and every one of my videos. You ain't got no excuse. So today, I know you guys haven't seen me. If you've seen my recent video, my last video, I was just giving you guys an update about what was going on in my life and how things are just kind of crazy, but I just want to make sure that I'm coming back to you guys and just giving you content and make sure I'm trying to be as consistent as possible. You know, I'm only human. I'm only human and I'm only human. But I'm coming to you with this video today. I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into the video. Today's video is going to be a story time about the time that my car was broken into and I was robbed. It was... It was the week before exams, and it was like one of the last classes that I had for this um, class. So, I woke up that morning. I woke up actually, well, I woke up on time, in time to get to class. And I woke up, and I was getting ready. You know, I am just put on some sweats. I'm put on a t-shirt, grab my jacket. I'm out the door. But I'm good to go, whatever. So, I'm looking, and looking around my room, usually... I leave my book bag either in my car or I run it in with me. This n this night in particular, I just so happened to leave it in my car. So I'm like, oh, yeah, my, my book bag's in the car, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm just head out the door. So I uh, get to my car and I open the door and I notice that the light is on in my car. So I'm like, did I leave the, the door open last night? It's like I don't remember leaving the door open last night. So I. Uh, I get in the car, I proceed to get in the car, and I close the door, and the light is still on. I'm like, what other, what else is on? So, I'm looking around the cabin, and I'm like, hmm, looking to see if any door open. I notice that my right rear door is open, it's cracked open real slight. So, I'm like, hmm. I didn't think much of it. Got out of my car. I went and opened. I went and like, you know, made sure the door was closed. And I'm like, wait. Y'all, my book bag is not in the back of my car. So I'm like, am I tripping? Am I tripping or am I tripping? So I go back in the house and I'm like, it's a whole book bag. A whole book bag. How could I just lose a whole book bag like this? I'm like, I'm looking, I'm like, looking under my bed. I'm looking in dumb places, you know, because you like, you can't say you ain't looking. So I'm looking in dumb places like, I'm looking in my closet. I'm looking under the bed for a whole book bag. And I'm like, am I tripping or am I, what's going on in the kingdom? So... I go back to the car, and I'm like, the door, the door open, my boot bag, somebody that came and got my boot bag. So at this point, I'm pissed. Only because, I'm, I'm a little bit pissed at myself, but at the same time, I'm pissed that somebody would like really come into my car and take my boot bag, you know. Granted, you know, luckily, I didn't leave my laptop in my book bag. Because usually that's where I keep it. It stays in my book bag. I didn't leave my laptop in my book bag that night. Thank God, because that just would have been a whole mess. So, uh, you know, it's a book bag, you know, okay. But the thing is, I didn't lock my doors the night before. And I'm like, maybe I should have locked my doors. Yeah, maybe that's something that I probably should have done. I mean, and typically I do lock my doors. 
is you know just sometimes it just really just slips your mind you just got a whole lot of stuff you got to carry in the house and you you know you can't really click it while you walking away so it just slips your mind so that's what happened that night and i it literally slipped my mind and so yeah move forward so my book bag is gone now and i'm just like why would you steal a book bag it was like a binder in there and some paper and some junk and some pens and some some pencils like what is your purpose in this whole life so i'm 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 like pissed off whatever you know it's a book bag i'll just get another book bag whatever so i went and took my um quiz and everything and i played the lottery I played the lottery, and this is actually the ticket right here. This is the ticket that I had won. I won like $5 off of this. Yeah, so I went, and I was like, hmm, well, I could go, and, you know, I ain't doing anything else. I did have class for the day. I could go and redeem my lottery ticket, and, you know, I might get a couple more tickets or whatever you know whatever whatever it's not that big of a deal so you know anytime I go anywhere I look like I'm 12 years old so I'm like I know they probably gonna want to ID me or whatever so I'm like hmm where was the last place I had my wallet was it in this car did I leave my wallet in this car I think I left my wallet in this car. So, I'm like, my wallet is stolen. It's stolen. So, now I don't have a book bag. I don't have a license. I don't have a debit card. I don't have a credit card. I don't have $32. So, basically, <laughs> You caused me a month of hecticness over $32. Like, you didn't even use my debit card. You're, you're that dumb. You're that dumb. Like, and it's sad. You know, I'm like, if you really had to go on my cart and steal $32, like, maybe, hopefully, you get right with the Lord and that $32 feed your family or something. Because if, if that's what you're doing out here, you're not smart enough to do nothing else but that, you need prayer. So I'm I'm praying for you still to this day. Always going to be praying for you, whoever you are. Because um, th th that's ridiculous. $32, you got $32 for me. You ain't even used my debit card. That's sad. Get a Get a job. Don't be out here robbing nobody, whoever you are. Like, who, who, why would you do that? So, yeah, I had to take that L for that day because I didn't lock my doors. That's my fault. So, guys, just remember, whenever you leave your car or your whatever, make sure you lock your doors because people will rob you. They will steal from you and not think twice about it. So, every time I leave my car, anytime I anything i take everything out and i like make you know as a matter of fact okay because i ain't got time for these hoes in 2017 and nobody finna get me again so make sure y'all you lock your doors you lock your take your items don't have them on display in the in the windshield like take these gps's and these, these radar detectors and all these cameras take this take this stuff down because people will target you and, and break your window for these stuff, for this stuff. iPads, iPods, all of it. Take it down, take it down, take it out. So, just be careful, you know. And always, like my grandma said, she always say, watch as well as pray. So, watch your surroundings when you out here. Um, watch your surroundings. Just be careful, because you just never know. Like, people are crazy now. They will just take your stuff. They just take your life. And it ain't worth it, you know. So, just be on the watch. Be on the pray. Not on the prowl. <laughs> Not on the prowl, but just be be ready for anything. Because it's a crazy, hectic world out here. And I would just hate for anything to happen to any of you guys. Just be safe. Watch as well as pray. And yeah, it took me forever to get back up on my feet. Like, I had to continue to go to the bank, like, every week to get 
withdrawals. Like it was just a mess. Dot net, and I just, I just was not here for it. But I finally got another wallet, got my license, and I got my debit card, and I got all the other stuff that I needed. So just, it ain't. It was that that process was just, uh, but. But that's all I have. I was just telling y'all the time my, my car was broken into and I got my stuff robbed. But God will restore and provide you with anything that you need. So I just thank God for that. And that is my story. Yes, story. And yeah, just lock up. <laughs> But that's all I really have for you guys today. Just stay tuned. Um, make sure that you follow my social media so that you're updated when the next time that I post new videos, new content, all that good stuff. Just be on the lookout. Um, Twitter and Twitter and Instagram are both Kill is Real Same as my YouTube channel. And my Facebook is Shaquille. No scratch that my facebook is vashon davis and my snapchat is shaquille with three l's and my email is shaquille with one l nine five at gmail.com so make sure that you just hit me up um inbox me write me let me know if you got any video video ideas any suggestions i'm always open to suggestions um i'm fairly new to this so let's just get into that and i will see y'all next time peace if you believe right now that God can work a miracle, I dare to run. One, two, three, run. <laughs>